Welcome to another video from Excellent Cat. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you five different methods to create running total in Excel. Running total is also called cumulative sum. So here is the first method using sum function. We have this sample bank account statement here. The first column contains the date of transactions. Second column contains the type of transactions and the third column contains the transaction amounts. To create the running total of these amounts listed here, we'll select this cell, equal, sum function, open parenthesis, select the first cell in the column containing amounts, select the cell D3, in the formula bar, add a dollar symbol before the row index of the cell reference, which will log the reference. full column. Once again select the cell D3, close parenthesis, press the enter key. Now drag this formula into the downward cells and see we have the running total of the amounts listed in the adjacent column. I will select the first five cells of this column. 1750 is the running total and if you see the adjacent cell we have this amount here. Once again, I will select the first eight cells. 2450 is the running total, otherwise cumulative sum. See the adjacent cell, we have this amount here. In the second method, we will be using Excel table. To convert this data into an Excel table, select the data, go to the insert tab, table, create table. My table has headers. OK. See the selected data has become an Excel table. We'll remove the filter button. To create the running total of these amounts listed here, select any of these cells in the adjacent column. Equal. Sum function. Open parenthesis. Select the adjacent cell. Click on the formula bar full column, select the column header of the column containing amounts and when I press the enter key, I have this new column containing the running total of these amounts and as you may know, Excel tables are dynamic, so when we add new data to this table, the column for running total will update for that change. So let me add some new data, date, item, amount. Copy, we'll paste it here. See, we just added date, item and amount and the column for running total updated for that change. Five thousand fifty. In the third method, we will be using pivot table. To create a pivot table from this data, select the data. Go to the insert tab, pivot table, existing worksheet, we'll select the cell F2, okay, we have this pivot table here, now drag and drop this field called date into the area for rows. Excel has automatically added the field for months, but we don't need that. Let me unmark this checkbox. Now we have only the dates here. Now drag and drop this field called amount into the area for values. Once again. So we have two columns for amounts in the pivot table. To convert any of these columns into running total, right click, show values as running total in, date is our base field, okay, and we have the running total of these amounts here, 1250. The fourth method is using power query, 
to load this data into the power query editor select the data go to the data tab from table slash range create table okay selected data is loaded under the power query editor and also excel has detected this data type as data type but we don't need that to change this data type into date click on this icon here select date replace current now to create the running total of this amounts listed here first of all we need to add an index column for that go to the add column tab index column from one so we have added an index column and the step called added index I will rename this right click rename temp now the column for running total custom column We'll rename the column to running total list dot sum open parenthesis list dot range open parenthesis now the step where we added index column then now the column containing amounts amount comma offset zero comma now the column containing index numbers index close parenthesis once again close parenthesis okay and we have created a column for running total before loading this data into the excel worksheet i will remove this column for index right click remove to load this data into the excel worksheet home tab close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select this cell f2 okay see this new table is a copy of the source table with a column for running total let me add some new data copy paste to update this table right click refresh and the newly created table updated for the change the fifth method is using power pivot to load this data into the power pivot window select the data go to the power pivot tab add to data model create table ok data is loaded under the power pivot window See our data range has become an excel table table 4 the same table is loaded under the power pivot window and see power pivot has detected this data type as data time to change that select this column format i will select this format now the column for running total we'll make some room in the formula bar select this cell in the formula bar equal calculate open parenthesis all tender for the next line sum open parenthesis table containing amounts close parenthesis comma all tender filter open parenthesis table 4 
comma all tender for the next line table containing dates less than or equal to earlier open parenthesis table containing date close parenthesis close parenthesis close parenthesis for the third time press the enter key and we have the running total in the newly created column we'll rename this column as r total now to load this data into the excel worksheet close the power pivot window go to the data tab existing connections tables so here is the table we just created table 4 existing worksheet f2 ok and here is the table we created using power pivot table 4 16 let me add new data here copy paste to update this table right click refresh hope you will find this five different methods useful for feedback and discussion please make use of the comment section and those who are visiting this channel for the first time subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases thanks for watching have a great day